So there's another question where people are asking, so what should, if it was a woman, you know, what should they do in that situation? I honestly do not know how women feel, you know, and I cannot underestimate the pressure that they go through. It's probably more than that of guys because there are many factors, you know, that come into play. But I would say that if God has actually spoken to you about a guy and the guy is oblivious of it, a possibility is let him know. Let him know that you're interested, you know. I would shy away from telling a guy that, or telling anybody straight up that, oh, God told me this about you. And so you don't want to bamboozle them into that. So let them know you're interested. Just make sure you're friends first. Make sure you're friends first. So there's a, a platform on which you can say, oh, well, I'm actually interested as if the guy is not, you know, coming through on that level. So and stay being friends. But I would say, don't peg your life because sometimes another another thing that happens is the lady stays so much around this particular guy who is interested in somebody else but everyone who sees the lady attaches her to that particular guy because like i said in you know in sharing my own experience the end goal is getting married sometimes the channel may change because if for example, God had told you that it was the guy and the guy dabbles into other things that would not make that destiny God mapped him for to be fulfilled on your life, then he's probably going to change the person, you know. But just keep listening. Keep listening as long as you feel peace in your heart and just continue with that. Spend time praying. Pray about it a lot. And in some cases, praying is not, you know, just praying in tongues and, you know, praying in English. God, this is how I feel. You know, brother A is not feeling me. And, you know, I'm not feeling, <laughs> I'm not liking the situation. You know, speak in English, in actual words, the actual emotions. There were times that I was so angry. I was, uh, words that I can never say outside. I was just using it to say, God, this is how I feel, you know, and then I step out of my room with a bright smile. <laughs> Some people would think when you express how you feel, you know, how depressed or how angry or anything, when you express it to God, some people say, oh, you're disrespecting God. <laughs> you know, God is God, but at the same time, he's still your father and he dwells on the inside of you, you know, by his spirit. So, it's, it's a thing that you need to cultivate that habit of talking with God. Because even in therapy, they tell you you have to speak with someone. Use words and that will help you. Another thing is just make sure you continue with your life. What are the things that you need to do to become that woman that would be the wife? You know, because another thing is you want to be the favor that that man will find. So whatever you need to learn, whatever you need to uh, unlearn, those are the things you need to be working on such that even if it doesn't work out with that particular guy anymore, whoever finds you is going to be a blessing. There was a particular point in my life. I was just like, you know what? Anybody who marries me is, <laughs> is hitting a jackpot. I mean, I, I'm not a billionaire yet, but and that's not even what I'm talking about. I'm just saying I, I could see, you know, the progress that God was making with me in character, in, in life, in spiritual development and where he was taking me. I was like, whoever marries me is blessed, you know. <laughs> so you want to be in that position where you know that you're a blessing to whoever marries you. And God is going to honor that definitely. Just keep working with him and he'll fulfill his own word because at the end of the day, God fulfills his own word independent of you. So just keep working with him. So please like, subscribe <laughs> and click on notification just in case we have something else coming up. Um, I want my wife to smile about this. So please subscribe. <laughs>